your storm station forecast with chief meteorologist Josh Eaches. Looking back on September, we had more below average than above average days, but with those record setters last week from the 21st all the way through to the 25th, likely rounding out the averages turns out to be an above average month. We'll have those official numbers in, of course, after today concludes. So as far as temperatures go, we certainly had our fall preview in the middle of the month, that big late summer rally, and then this fall preview we're in the middle of now. And we look at precipitation, it has turned rather dry. It's been a streaky year as far as precipitation goes. We were really dry through June, super wet for July and August. And then September even started off on a wet note, but uh, shut the spigot off immediately. And it looks like we may be going to the tune of about three to four weeks with about measurable rain by the time we get into early October here. So 21 dry days and nine wet days. The rain stats on the year right there, we still do run a deficit of about eight and three quarter inches, but certainly a big deficit here in the month of September with a little more than an inch down in that first week. Here's a look at the visible satellite picture now as it does remain dry across Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and neighboring Alabama. Of course, that big mass of clouds is what is left of Ian. Now a post-tropical system quickly lost its tropical characteristics in moving inland. As we see that position on the surface map now, it's the only feature of note in the region. We'll zoom in a little tighter, and you can see that it is spreading heavy rain across North and South Carolina, even into Virginia. But now that it is post-tropical, we expect it to be a little more than a remnant low by tomorrow afternoon while raining out in the Appalachian Mountains. Still some 70 mile per hour wind gusts out there closer to Raleigh, North Carolina, as this one is zipping off to the north at 15. Elsewhere in the Atlantic Basin, fresh wave off the African coast has a medium 60% chance of formation in the next five days. Should be an out to sea storm if it picks up a name. The next one on the list, the J name, is Julia. Back home in our area, beautiful afternoon, tons of blue sky out there today, and our temperatures have come up a few degrees from yesterday at this hour out of the 70s. The 80s in Baton Rouge, the I-10 corridor and points to the south. You'll see 79 in New Road, 78 in Macomb, and I-55 all through Tangibo Parish around 79 degrees. Moving into tomorrow morning, light jacket territory once again with a start off temperature around 53 degrees, 58 at 8 a.m. Fast warm up with that sun up though, 71 degrees by 10. Lunchtime temperature just shy of 80 degrees. We'll look for 82 at 2 and about 83 degrees our high temperature around the 4 o'clock hour tomorrow. Beautiful weekend for football here in the Baton Rouge area. Southern fans going to love it on the bluff tomorrow. 3 o'clock, 83 degrees and sunshine kicking off. Off at 6 to 78 in the sun, and then we'll go to 71 degrees toward the end of that game. LSU fans uh, likely already on the road, but if you haven't left yet and are going, take an extra layer to add. That one starts off in the sun in 73, but will quickly drop into the 60s after sunset around 645 tomorrow in southeastern Alabama. There's your seven day forecast middle 80s for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And we look for those temperatures to just kind of level off in the mid to upper 80s for the first full week of October. Still looks as though there's enough moisture in skies for a few clouds to start to pop up, but still not expecting any precipitation. And that is through next Friday. Like I said, we may be pushing about a month straight by that time without measurable rain in the capital area.